JMMB's management finally talk about plans to grow the stock price and unlock shareholders value. <laughs> on YouTube. Well, JMMB held its investor briefing yesterday and it's for the first time we hear JMMB management talk about the reason it believes why the stock is undervalued, that is the JMMB stock, and some of the plans that it is putting in place so as to get the stock price to start trading at its fair value. So in this video, we will discuss some of the issues that management talked about, why the stock is undervalued, and we will analyze some of the issues or some of the plans that it is putting in place to ensure that the stock price starts trading at its intrinsic value. JMB management gave two reasons why it believe the stock is selling below its intrinsic value. Well, the number one reason that management gave was high liquidity of the stock. All right. Meaning a lot of the stock is held by retail investors. All right. And the second reason management talk about that is hampering the company's stock price is the cross-listing or the fact that the company is cross-listed on both the Jamaica Stock Exchange and the Trinidad Stock Exchange. Well, as you know, local finance has talked extensively about the cross-listing of JMB stock and how that has impacted the company's operation or the stock operation. So we will review those talks, all right, or those points that we made. No, we have not talked about the liquidity of the JMB stock. All right, so what we are going to do is to talk about the liquidity of the stock briefly, and then we review the issues that we think the stock has as it relates to it being traded trading on both stock exchange and then we get into some of the we get into some of the solutions that management put forward all right to shore up the stock price All right, so first and foremost, it must be noted that JMMB is one of the most liquid stock traded or trading on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. All right, now the company has almost approximately, let's say approximately 2 billion shares outstanding. All right, and a lot of that shares is within the hands of retail investors as management have stated. Now, what you're looking at on your screen is the top 10 shareholders of the JMB stock or the JMB shares outstanding as of March 2022. All right. So, what you would notice is that the sum of the top 10 shareholders adds up to 54% of total shares. All right. And that's some 1.0. 5 billion shares all right now as we said the company has 1.9 billion shares outstanding so a little over half of that amount is owned by the top 10 shareholders now if you look at the top 10 shareholders you, you realize that the stock is not highly concentrated all right, so Proven has the largest share count. And Proven owns just 391 million shares, all right, which adds up to about 20% of the total. 
And then the next top 10 shareholder owns only 9% behind proven. All right. And you can see now after that, some people own 5%, some funds 4%, and then just 2% two, 2% two each. That makes up or uh, complement the top 10 shareholders. All right. Now, as a result, as I said before, the top 10 shareholders own just 54% of the shares. So the other 900 million shares, almost a billion shares, is owned by retail investors. All right. Now, some of these people that owns this JMB stock are really long term shareholders. However, a large amount of them are retailers that buy and sell stock. All right. Or people that up in and out of the stock just to take advantage of the stock movements. All right. And as what management said, this is one of the reasons, or if not the main reason why the stock does not seem to be able to breach that 46, that 46 resistance level on the upside. All right. Now what you find happening with this amount of stock in, in the market's hand are people who are willing to up in and out of the stock. You find that the stock is very liquid and it really creates opportunity for people to be making money in the short term. All right, so what we notice is that at first the stock used to roll between $38 and $40. Remember when J, um, JMM, JMMB failed to breach that $40 mark, all right, that $40 price mark. All right, and a lot of people think that the stock could not climb above that forty dollar because as soon as the stock reaches that forty dollar mark, then investors will trade the stock down. All right, and it is said that a lot of people believe that investors that went in the stock at APO price, at thirty eight dollar price, and have not seen any great or any significant movement in the stock beyond that thirty. $8 for a long time, over some two years, two and a half years, they are willing to up out of the stock at the $40 mark, all right? And that prevented the stock from climbing above that $40 mark. However, JMB has been one of the better performing companies on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, be it the junior harm of the stock exchange or the main market. JMMB has been performing exceptionally well. And we see we're in the 2022 end of year report. The company knocked it out of the park altogether. All right. So we see where the company grew its net profit by some 56%. That, that is some tremendous performance. I mean, JMMB is growing as if it's a small company looking to expand. All right, it is not growing as if it's a main market company. All right, so JMB with some junior market company growth rate. All right, but the stock failed to catch up. So we see where the stock breached a forty dollar mark, and now the stock is rolling between a forty two dollar range and a six a forty six dollar dollar range. All right, so when we check that, that's some 10% rule. All right, and this, given how re some retailers think, this 10% is a lot of money to them. And the fact that they can get in a good amount of money into the JMB, JMB stock and take out that money out of the JMB stock within weeks. All right, so just imagine a trader putting in $100,000 or $200,000 into JMB stock at $40 or $42 and taking out that 
thousand dollars at the forty six dollar margin. All right, at ten percent, that's some twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars return. All right, so these investors would up for those types of of return, and if they can do it again and again they would really choose to do it again and again all right so that could be one of the reasons why the company feels to move beyond that four to six dollar even though the company is performing exceptionally well all right so management needs to do something to take these retail investors out of the stock all right, and there's another set of retail investors that come into the stock due to the dividends. All right, so they will buy into the stock for the dividends and then up back out of the stock after the dividend um, payment date or the ex-dividend date, all right? So these are some of the things that JMB stock is grappling with, and these are some of the things that the management need to fix. Now, proven investment as a majority shareholder the larger shareholder. I think proven investment has a role to play in this scenario, all right? So proven to us is too quiet. I mean, proven investment has, 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 has invested some, what was it, some $20 billion, uh, sorry, I mean, some $3 billion in the APO. That's when it took the 20% stake in JMB. And the company has not seen any significant increase in terms of capital gain over the last three years, all right, on that investment. No, we are not seeing where Proven is putting any pressure on the JMB management team to ensure that they deliver. So we believe that Proven is not playing its role as a lead investor in this scenario. And there's a lot more that proven investment can do to ensure that management do what management needs to do to get the stock price moving, all right? Now, one other thing that management talked about was the cross-listing of the JMB shares. And we at Blue Color Finance, we, we have looked at that already we did, we did quite a bit of research on the cross-listing of the JMB um, stock and how that has been preventing the stock from moving up beyond the, the, the upper level or the upper resistance level, all right? So as you know, people in Trinidad, there is a squeeze, a, a lack of access to the, or to the US dollar in Trinidad. So a lot of people, would cross over their shares from the Trinidad Stock Exchange to the Jamaica Stock Exchange, sold those shares for the Jamaica, um, in Jamaica for the US dollar, all right? However, what we notice is that JMB is not the only stock that is cross-listed, all right? So you have Massey, which is the latest cross-listing, all right? You also have Guardian Holding, that is cross-listed. NCB stock is also cross-listed and Grace Kennedy is cross-listed, all right? However, we have seen Grace Kennedy moved up in price. We have seen, we have seen, we have seen Grace Kennedy moved up in price, NCB moved up in price. Um, so obviously these other stocks are not being hampered by the cross listing are prevented to move up by the cross listing. So why it is that it is a JMB stock that is being pressured by, by Trinidad investors selling the stock. All right, so what we notice is that in crossing over the shares and selling them on the Jamaica Stock Exchange for the US dollar, the JMB stock would be the stock that the Trinidad investor makes the smallest loss on, all right? So in crossing over the shares, the Trinidad investor would make a loss, whichever shares that they are trading in, 
all right, be it the NCB, be it the Grace Kennedy, they would make a loss. However, the JMB stock would give them the smallest loss, all right? So it is because of the small loss that they are experiencing on the JMB stock, why they are willing to trade in the JMB stock and not in the other stocks, all right? So again, this is an issue that management has to deal with, and I believe it can be dealt with. There's a lot, or there are a lot of ways in which management can deal with these two issues that management talked about, all right? So these are not very hard issues or problems to solve, but it will take some amount of pressure from the majority shareholder, which is proven investment limited, all right, to, to, to drive management to want to solve um, this issue. All right, so one other thing that we saw in the last annual report is that salary, staff salary increased from 39%, almost 40%, even as the share price is not moving up as we as shareholders would like to see it. so what that amounts to management are fattening their pockets at the expense of the shareholders all right so the company is performing well but the stock price is not moving and until the stock price move then shareholders are not making any money and we're seeing where management is making a lot of money because management continues to increase their paycheck, all right, while shareholders suffer. But what we will do now is to look at the reason or the, the solutions that management have for these two issues and see if they make sense any at all. So a solution to the issue that the JMB stock is facing management highlighted two solutions to the problem. Number one, management decided to inform the market or keep the market informed. All right. Keep the market informed about the strategy of the company and what the company is doing in order to increase its profits, all right? So management came up with this brilliant idea that it needs to start doing an investor briefing, all right? So after each result, after each quarter result, then management will have an investor briefing where it highlights the issues that the company is having, I like the major strategy and how well the strategy that management have embarked on is beer almost um oh well that is bearing fruit all right no is this a strategy that can solve the jmb stock price issue we do not think this is a strategy that will solve the issue all right so keeping the market informed uh, abreast of what's happening with within the jmb company appeals to the long-term investor all right so investors that are in it for the long haul this type of strategy speaks directly to them all right but jmb stock price does not have a long-term investor issue all right, what we see JMB stock price having is some short term investors, some short sighted investors hopping in and out of the stock. All right, informing them about the strategy of JMB does nothing for them because these people are not interested in the long term prospect of the stock or the company. A lot of them don't even look at the company's results because that's not what they are interested in. What they are interested in is the technical aspect of the stock price all right so the moving the upwards moving movements and the downward movements of the stock price is what they are really interested in all right and not any strategy 
that management is embarking on. All right. So keeping the market abreast of the JMB strategy and what is really happening in the JMB's world is a good thing, but it appeals to the long-term investors and it will not do anything for um to solve the issues of JMB stock price moving up. All right, so management also said that the buyback stock buyback is another strategy that they are gonna use or they will be using to solve this problem of the company's trading below or the stock price trading below its intrinsic value. Well, we do see this as one way of solving that problem. However, the way management talked about this buyback, they, it does not seem convincing, all right? So while listening to Mr. Keith Duncan talk about their intention to buy back stocks or to buy back the stocks of the company, to us, it doesn't seem as if they, they are really convinced that this is the strategy all right to solve that issue all right so will the buyback work can the buyback work now as we said majority of some 900 million shares are in the public's hand all right retail investors hand because only 54 percent of the shares are in the top 10 shareholders hand all right so this company is highly liquid now, the company's value are some $88 million currently. Now, if we take half of the $88 billion, that is some $44 million. All right, so if we say above, the, the shares that are in the public and are in retail investors' hand is about $44 million, a billion dollars, I should say. So let's say $40 billion. Now, a portion of those retail investors are also long-term investors. So if we should say 50% of those retail investors are long-term investors. So there is another 50% of those retail investors that are short-term stock pickers in and hold, buy and sell stock, all right? So the amount of share in their hand values at about $20 billion. Now, JMB has um touted a buyback plan and they have put aside a minimum amount of some 300 million dollar to initiate that buyback plan we have not heard anything since they said that it is in this year all right the 2023 financial year that they will commence buying back the shares all right we have not heard anything um since about whether or not they are starting to buy back share when exactly they will start by back buying back to a share however what we're saying is that compare this 300 million dollar to the 20 billion dollar of shares that is in a uh, worth of shares that is in the retail investors hands this 300 million dollar will not have an impact on the issue that the company is having. All right. Now, while it is okay to buy back shares, that means you're taking the shares from those investors that are willing to sell the shares. All right. And you're retiring those shares. So those shares will not go back into the market. The magnitude of the buyback cannot solve the issue. All right. So if management could step up this buyback plan, then it would be a good thing all right i will see where the company has a lot of money some 60 something billion dollar in cash on the balance sheet now the company could use a part of that cash to buy back the shares all right now what we will do is to suggest some things that we believe is necessary to move that stock price all right 
And our number one suggestion, our number one suggestion is management increase in the buyback. All right. So increase, increase buyback. All right, increase. Increase buyback. All right. So if management should step up on, on this buyback, this dollar amount to buy back the shares, then that can work magic. However, the question will be asked: where would management get the money to buy back that um that huge amount of shares? All right, now this buyback thing, management can use one stone to kill two birds. All right, so a lot of retail investors are in it because of the dividend that they can get. All right, so as the company declares dividend, some retail investors will buy up the stock and then after the ex-dividend deal, they will sell the stock. All right, so, so they are in it for the dividends. So what management can do is to not pay dividends. All right, so no dividends, no dividends. All right, and we'll see where JMMB paid some $1.6 billion in dividends in 2022 financial year. All right, and 2021 financial year, it paid some $488 billion in dividends. All of that amount that the company pay in dividends is greater than the amount that the company is putting aside to buy back the shares. So we are suggesting that the management take these dividends, cease paying dividends, just like NCB is doing. No. All right. So not paying dividends is not a bad thing. All right. So stop paying the dividends. Use those dividend money to buy back the shares. And in doing so, you will kill two, two birds with one stone. All right, so people who are in it, the retail investors who are hopping in and out of the stock because of this dividend, there is no more dividend to be paid in say two years time. All right, now that dividend money can now be used to also take the shares from others who want to ride the share up from the $40 to the $46 and vice versa. All right, so that's a, um, a solution to the problem all right and the long-term investors will not have to worry about not receiving any dividend because we believe that the stock price will 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 increase in a moment that will far more than compensate you for the dividend that you will miss out because number one the dividend, when company pay a dividend, you'll have to pay 15% or your money will go to the government. All right, so not paying any dividend, you will save up to 15% of your money off the bat. And then the increase that we are suspecting will happen, will compensate you for, for, for the dividend that you missed out on. And you could sell your stock for the capital gain and capital gain all of the money will go to you because taxes are not charged on capital gains so there you go again so that's a double whammy for people who are in it for the capital gain all right so we are suggesting that the company does not pay any dividend for two years use those dividend money to buy back the shares all right so there you have it the the, the wheel how the company can increase the money that it will use to buy back shares. Now, we also are suggesting that the company do what they call a reverse stock split. All right. Now, JMMB is not the only company that has issues with retail investors hopping in and out of the stock and hence preventing the stock from moving up. Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, um, normally quote that he doesn't want any short-term investor in Berkshire stock. 
because he's quite aware of the effect of having those short-term investors and the, the volatility that comes with those short-term investors because they are likely to up out of the stock if the, the company is not performing up to scratch. That will further put pressure on the stock price. All right. So as a mean of preventing or to, to as a mean of protecting shareholders' value, Warren Buffett try his best to prevent short-term investors from buying into the Berkshire or other way stock. And he does this by allowing the stock price to climb to unbelievable numbers. All right. So what that means, the higher the stock price is, retail investors will not buy into those high stock price are a stock that has very high prices all right so if the stock is selling at some one one thousand dollars per share five thousand dollars per share you will not have retail investors buying into those stocks so it is most of the long-term investors will hold those high price stocks all right now we see where this medium price or medium to low price is affecting the JMB stock in terms of its cross listing. All right. So as we stated, JMB, because of its low price, all right, $40 per share, the $40 range, Trinidad investors are willing to cross over the JMB shares and sell them because it is on this year that they will make smaller losses. Now, the NCB, the Massey, the Grace Kennedy are trading above that $100 mark. And as a result, the loss that the investor will make on those trades will be larger than on the JMB trade. So we are, suge we are suggesting that JMB do or does a reverse stock split all right <clears throat> so what a reverse stock split in a stock split you get the stock price lower for a larger amount now in a reverse stock split you get the stock price higher for a smaller amount all right so it is dividing the stock by a multi, uh, by a number all right so you get a low amount of stock but the price will increase for instance as we said jmb has approximately two billion shares outstanding so jmb can simply divide these two billion shares by two so it will now end up with one billion share all right but the stock price will now double moving from this 42 dollar to now $82 or $84. And if it does a three to one, it can move to about $120. All right. So having a reverse stock split of three to one will put JMB stock price in the vicinity of an NCB, a Grace Kennedy stock price. And as a result, it will tend to back off the retail investors from trading into the stock. All right, so anybody listening who knows JMB management, tell them that Blue Color Finance is suggesting that they do a reverse stock split along with buying back the shares. And we can guarantee you that this will, this is enough to give shareholders the capital return that shareholders has been longing for in the JMB stock. All right. So may I beg you, tag Keith Duncan. Tag JMB management. Tag anybody who you know work at JMB. So them can forward the suggestions to the management because 
JMB definitely need a reverse stock split in order to solve the issue or the issues that the company or the stock price currently have. All right, the company just simply need to be start trading at a higher price and a reverse stock split can be the magic bullet that the company needs to unlock shareholders value. But as you know, a blue color finance and you don't know the thing go over here, you know. We always have to like, share, leave a comment and make we keep the discussion going. Chat to you in the next video.